In this video, we're going to look at solving equations that have variables on both sides. As we solve these equations with variables on both sides, another important thing to remember is we must always simplify each side before we do any solving. Let's take a look at some examples where we do just that. In this problem, if we look at balancing on the equal sign, we see there is some simplifying we can do on both the left and right side. On the left side, we see a 2 in front of parentheses, which means we must distribute it through the parentheses. 2 times 3x is 6x, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. On the right side, the simplifying we can do is combining like terms of the 4x and negative x. 4 minus 1 gives us 3x's, plus 6 remaining. Now that we have simplified, we must address the issue that the variable is still on both sides. To get the variable on one side, we'll move the smaller one, or the 3x, by subtracting 3x from both sides. This gives us 3x minus 2 equals, with the 3x's subtracting 0, 6. Now we can solve the remaining two-step equation, moving away from x by first adding 2 to both sides, giving us 3x equals 8, and finally, dividing both sides by 3 to get our final solution, the fraction x is equal to 8 thirds. Let's try another example where we have to simplify first and then solve to figure out what x equals. This problem has a lot going on in it, but the patterns we use to solve will still be exactly the same. We'll start by balancing through the equal sign and looking at the left side and seeing what we can simplify. With a number in front of parentheses, we know we can distribute, which will give us 6x plus 3 minus 9x equals on the right side, we can distribute the 4, giving us 4x plus 24 minus 20. But we're not done simplifying at this point, because on the left side, there are still like terms, 6x minus 9x, which will give us negative 3x, and we still have the plus 3. Similarly, on the right side, we can combine like terms, positive 24 and negative 20, which will give us 4. We now have 4x plus 4. Now that both the left side and the right side have been simplified as much as possible, we're ready to start solving the equation. When solving, we want the variables to all be on the same side first. We'll move the smaller one, or the negative 3x, then over to the other side. The opposite of negative 3x, is positive 3x, and that's what we will do on both sides, lining up our like terms. The 3x's then will subtract to 0, and we're left with 3 equals 4 plus 3 is 7x plus 4. We now have a basic two-step equation, which we can solve moving away from x, subtracting first, subtracting 4 from both sides, giving us negative 1 equals 7x, and then finally, dividing both sides by 7 to get our final answer. x is equal to negative 1 7th. When solving these equations, we follow the same pattern every time. First step, we will always simplify on both the left and right sides. After we're done simplifying, we will move the variable to one side or the other, usually by adding or subtracting the smaller term. Once we've done that, we should have a two-step equation, which we can solve by subtracting and then dividing to get the x alone. 